Guys, we are back, and this promises to be a bumper episode. It's the summer transfer window, we're in the Premier League, and there's going to be a lot of ins and outs. What's up guys, Gary from KJB, back again with another episode of the Leicester City Career Mode Championship to Champions League. Like I said in the intro, we have a very busy window. We're allowed free signings, but first, let me run through something with you. Also, if you've come from the Guess Who the Player Is shorts, um, welcome along. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for liking. I'm sure that video went down well. Yeah, I hope you got four out of four, five out of five, however many it was. Now, my objective is sign free players born in Asia. So what I've done, I've sent three offers out to some free agents. I'll show you the one who we've signed so far. So Yamaguchi, he's 69 rated at... 19 as a center back that's really good i wasn't intending him on being good what i'm gonna do is because vardy left on a free pratt left on a free vardy's now retired so i can't get him back i'm going to sign these players but what i'm going to do is treat them as youth academy players so i'm going to loan them out for this season and if you think this is unfair and you think i should get rid of them let me know and next season i'll probably look into that because this season I just want to complete the objectives and get off that thumbs down picture in the corner. Because that is scaring me. I don't want to lose this job. suppose we should probably start with some players. So as you can see the left back role is now full. Thomas is back. Christian's back. Justin is still here. I'm not going to do anything with that at the minute. I like these options. I feel like Justin can probably start the season at left back, but I like both Thomas and Christian here. Centre back, we are looking quite strong. Cody, Vestergaard, Suter, Baz. Run, he is going on the transfer list. Good in real life, but unfortunately 23-61, he's not going to be coming anywhere near this team. Ben Nelson is going on the loan list. Depending if I get someone in or not, Vestergaard might be gone as well. Like I said, at the end of last episode, I've got a few youth players. They're all going on the loan list as well. Especially Yamaguchi. He's not going to see a minute this season as we discover what we want to do. Ricardo is our only right back at the club. But Justin can play there as well. So I'm happy having Ricardo and Justin one side. Thomas and Christiansen another. That doesn't bother me. Diddy, Chowdhury, Samare. I'm not going to transfer list him, but if an offer comes in for him... I might be accepting that. And he's also not going to be number seven. He, he He's not getting that. Winks, Dewsbury Hall, Braybrook and Booth. Again, happy with these. And Ali, forgot about Delhi. These are my options in midfield. Happy with that. I might look at strengthening a little bit in midfield. Now Pratt's gone especially. But that will end up with the likes of potentially Samari going. Braybrook and Booth both going out on loan again. Wingers, I think, is an interesting one. So we've got Atgun. Mavadidi's clearly off starting left mid. Atgun, I'd rather him be a rotation option. McAteer and Marcel both did quite well. Mawenta is going out on loan. I think both of these guys... I'm not going to list them yet, but there's potential to go out on loan because I do want a right winger in the club. Patson Daka is on the transfer list. Which means we've got Apoku, Cannon, and Ianacho. So I'm looking for reinforcements up top as well. Especially because I want Apoku on loan. So we've got a big budget. 95 million. 1.8 on the wage budget. Which is why I'm doing these free signings from Asia. As just three random free agents I found. There was no looking into stats or scouting. It is what it is. I've got a few players who I'm currently scouting for this team. So they'll come back in about 18 days. In the meantime, I've got three signings I'm allowed to make unless other players leave permanently. So, I'm going to start off with someone who got relegated from the Premier League. Someone I think we can give a good chance to. Brian Umbuemo. I'm going to try and sign him. How am I going to justify this one? Well, Brentford have just got relegated from the Premier League. He probably wants to be playing Premier League football. We've just got promoted. I'm going to give him the chance to come back. We'll start off with an 18.5 mil offer. They've accepted. Happy days. 35k a week. Delegating that. So we'll start him off at 40. Up to 71. He will be the right mid. These are the two other 
Asian free agents that I'm looking at. Again, there's nothing in looking at stats. They're not scouted or anything like that. They're just two named on the list. Both of them have decent play styles, but that is what it is. I'm not going to use them this season. They're just going out on loan. Pats and Daka, I am just accepting every offer that comes in because he just wants out of the club. I could see that happening in real life because we're not giving him a chance. Um, it's a shame. I think there's a good player in there and I think a year in the championship would do him wonders. But it just looks like he's one of those who will be on the way out. So there you go. One of the Japanese blokes has signed. That's fine. So he's 62 rated. The other guy was 57 rated. None of them good enough to get near the first team. Who is though? Brian Mbwemo accepts his offer at Leicester City, 46k a week, coming in, starting right winger, could potentially play as a striker as well. I think he's an excellent fit for the team. Let me know if you get him on the shorts. 18.5 million for Brian Mbwemo, it's below his market value. It's an A-rated transfer, he's getting straight into his first team. He's 80 rated as well. He's not 80 rated, he's 79 rated, but he can play both up front and out on the right wing. He's going to start off on the right wing, going to be cutting inside. I've got high hopes for him. Daka has gone to Crystal Palace. He had an offer from Juventus. He stays in the Premier League. He's not going to be a good rating because we didn't get a good price. He wanted to leave. I just feel like this one might come back and haunt us. So with Daka gone, I've still got three signings left. Brunt. There's a potential that I could get another signing out of him. I'm not sure how I feel about it because he wasn't really impacting the first team. I'm going to reject that one because I can't be bothered for having a look at players. Aliti had one Apoku on loan. Okay, you can go out for a one-year loan there, sure. Looking at the team and the bench, I think the next position I want to look at is potentially centre mid because I feel like... As good as Winks is in real life, and if we did get promoted, he'd be key. I feel like he's not quite it for this career mode. I feel like we could do with a better option in there. So that's my next priority. Let me get on the shortlist. We've got a few good options. I'm just waiting for some scout reports back on a few players. What I might do in the meantime, I was really interested in Christoph Iger, but I don't want to just go and raid every single Brentford player. I might look at getting Callum Doyle back on loan. I looked at Harwood Bellis. I looked at Dyer as an experienced option. The way Doyle's fit in with our team, I genuinely think he could be coming back again if we got promoted. So I'm going to try for a loan and maybe an option to buy. He's only got one year left on his contract. What I'm going to do then, that changes it. I'm just going to try and buy him. I'm going to be very cheeky with this one. 8 million and a 10% sell on clause. He's got one year left. I don't know if it will work. It has worked. Nope. No, it's not worked. He's very unhappy. We'll go back in for Doyle again a bit later in the summer. Yamaguchi's gone on loan to Feyenoord for 12 months. Like I said, he's not going to be near the first team this season as we discuss what we want to do. Nathan Apoku goes on loan to Al Itihad for 12 months. Sammy Braybrook goes on loan to Alaves for 12 months. Ben Nelson as well joins Portland Timbers for 12 months. So we've got a pre-season tournament, I'll play this off camera and I'll let you know about signings beforehand. I just want to try and get used to a few new players, a little bit of a different style of playing and I'll let you know how we get on. Dewsbury Hall, perfect timing, can rejoin the first team. We should probably look at our fixtures as well. We'll get some scout reports and maybe a signing before Schalke. We've got Schalke, Cremonese and Stuttgart and we kick off against Manchester United. Jesus, what a tough start that's going to be. That is going to be in this episode as well. Yeah, it's a bit nice between this Forest, Leeds and Norwich stint. But then you've got Liverpool, Newcastle. It's a tough league. There's a lot of very tough games. Anyway, Lee has gone out to Aruka for 12 months. A few more players have come back. And I think the player who interests me most is Ricky Puge. The ex-Barcelona player who's now at LA Galaxy. He's got a transfer ongoing with Bournemouth. So I'm going to try and jump in ahead of Bournemouth. I'm going to start with 16.5 mil and a 15% sell-on clause. And they're happy with that straight away. He's on 7 grand a week. We're going to bump him up to 35 to 59. Hopefully he accepts that. That might be my Harry Winks replacement. Because from the Barcelona Academy, the guy's going to be able to pass the ball. 
look at all those traits he's got as well. I'm going to go back in for Callum Doyle as well. This time I'm not going to mess around as much. 10 million plus a 15% sell on clause. You want 10.7, I'll accept that. And then we'll delegate that asking price just there. So he's already been approached by Bournemouth. Hopefully he doesn't go to them, even though our offer is a bit lower. We can't do anything more at the minute. Muenta has joined Twente on a 12-month loan deal. And Taylor has joined West Brom on a 12-month loan deal. This is what we're all about on this career mode. Just loaning out the youngsters, get them some good experience. Callum Doyle's accepted 40k a week to become an important first team player. He's coming back to us on a permanent. Doesn't have a real in-game face, but I'm not too fussed about that. I know a lot of people are. If you can get him on the guess who, fair play to you. And he gets his number 5 shirt as well, perfect. To be fair, I could see this happening in real life because Man City do like doing a bit of business with their youngsters. They, they do let them leave for a fairly cheap price. Is it outcome I want Ian Acho? Not a chance. Perfect. Ricky Pouj has accepted our offer over Bournemouth's. In comes the ex-Barcelona player. The LA Galaxy player. The guy who's got a lot of potential, but he's a bit lost out in America at the minute. You get C rating on price, 16.5 million, 78 rated overall, coming in to replace Winks in that midfield, who I do think Winks has been so hardly done on this game, but he's not going to develop much further. He's not someone I want to sell, but he's definitely an upgradable option in that midfield. What I'm thinking, viewers, is potentially I've got one signing left, and there's a few players I might look at transfer listed at some point. I could do with a backup striker to Iheanacho. I'm sure Tom Cannon's going to be alright, but he's only these two I've got at the club at the minute. So I feel like I could do with another option there, and maybe another centre mid or CDM replacement, because I've got Undidi, and then I've got Chowdhury. I've got Samaro, but I'm still not sure about keeping him or not, so... I'm going to play these pre-season games now. I'll let you know if anything happens in the meantime. Connor Evans has gone out and joined Cardiff on loan in the meantime though. The next day. Pre-season tournament is now over and it was a bit of a mixed bag. We drew all three games. 2-2, 1-1, 1-1. We definitely got a bit better as it went on but that's just highlighted to me. I think I need some reinforcements and I think I know who I'm after. So all that's happened is a few more loans have gone out in the meantime. I've still only got one player to sign, which is a bit worrying, but I've got an idea. I definitely feel like I need a striker, and after that I feel like I just want another winger to give us another option. And in terms of striker, I'd love to go for Gift Orban, but I just don't think he's realistic. I think he's a, maybe next season we might go for Gift Orban, but for now... He's too much of a magnet to big clubs. I feel like he can move elsewhere. I'm going to go for Kyogo Furuhashi from Celtic. He is 29 years old, but I'm trying to keep it somewhat realistic. Celtic and Leicester, they do have a bit of history. Brendan Rodgers being the main one. You are not having Buba Samari as part of this exchange. You can piss off on that. But yeah, we've got a bit of history of signings and I'm just going to accept 9.3 mil and 5% sell-on clause. I feel like you'd work as a rotation with Ian Acho for a year, quite similar to Dakar. Potential to be moving out to the wings. I'm happy with it. We're going to offer him 40k, don't go higher than 72. In the meantime, I definitely want another player out so I can try and make another signing. And I'm thinking... One of these two. Ben Rama, we should have signed years ago. When, before he went to West Ham, we should have signed him then. But Jack Clark, it's one of these. Ben Rama's potentially going to be a bit more. Can play as a cam, play as my left winger. But Jack Clark is that real standout in the championship. We did pick up an injury to Luke Thomas as well. He is out for three months with a broken toe. Christensen played in every preseason game. I like having a left footed left back. But for now, Justin is going to stay there. I'm looking at the bench and I'm thinking potentially who could go. Brunt's good. At, Brunt's on the way of being sold. But I'm not sure about him warranting me another signing because of his rating. Maybe one of these two. Maybe Booba goes in the end. 
and that leaves us with Ali, Winks and Chowdhury. We'll see what happens there, I'll see if any offers come in. Furuhashi has accepted, I am going to give it a bit of time though because I forgot I was scouting other players in the meantime. I'm just going to have a look at these other players I've scouted, so it might not be done before this Man U game. Ahmed, a youngster from the academy, has gone to Bristol City on loan. Viewers, I'm rejecting the Furuhashi deal. I'm going to reject his offer, unfortunately. I think I've found the player I want to go for. Dolberg's a very good option, but I think Tony Martinez, the Spanish striker from Porto, 6'2", 77 overall. So, same as Furuhashi, two years younger. A lot taller, probably gives a bit of a different option. I think I'd rather give him a shot. So I'm just going 10 mil straight up. They want Suter. You're not having Suter. So let's go for 10.7. So just above. They want 11. I'll happy go to 11. It's not like we don't have the money, is it? He's on 13k a week. So let's try 40 to 69. See what he says. And then hopefully we can get a sale so we can try and get another winger in. So this is the Manchester United team and it is a bit of a baptism of fire this one. They've made a few good signings. Adoji's in. Will Fish, who is a youngster who's not very highly rated in. And Van der Beek's playing. So it's a bit more unusual. The wing play team, which is going to be fun because I'm not great at defending down the wings. You'll see we've got a little bit of a different tactic going on in this game and at the end of the preseason tournament. Not that it changed much, we still drew the games, but that's how we're playing this season. Deli Ali is starting ahead of Dewsbury Hall because he had a free good preseason tournament. The rest of the lineup is like this. Pooj and Umbremo both making debuts. It can't really get much tougher than this. Manchester United, first game of the season at home. It's going to be very, very tough. And if we can come through this with a draw, I'll happily take it. Because this is one of the tougher teams to play, especially on the game. Real life, maybe not so much. But in this game, the ratings of the players are, are as good as you're going to see in the Premier League. Hoyland straight away gets a chance. Hermanson saves it. It's one thing we didn't have to deal with in the championship. Short corners. Puj goes to tackle Anthony, misses it. And Buemo puts a tackle in on Fernandez. Well done. Short corner again. Anthony just gets past Ricky Puj in the box. I hate that so much. Hermanson, great save. I'm really bad at defending wing. So wing play against us is going to be so difficult. Nice ball by Buemo. Gets Ricardo in. Deli Ali gives it to Mavadidi, who gets a very good save out of Onana. I like that. We've got a chance in us. Deli Ali's corner goes in. Umbuemo's head. Onana saves again. Okay, this is an encouraging start. I'm liking this. Umbuemo's just had the headers taking the corner over to Deli Ali, who gets it cleared away from him. They are trying to play down the wings, as the tactic states. But Fernandez gets it in the middle. Rashford's got a bit of room. Rare is trying to get across. Good block. Very good block by him. Pooj on it. Can he get it up to Ian Acho? All he's got to do is get around Royal Fish, who's defended really well. Let's give some credit out to the youngster. Justin's just let Anthony go past him. He's cut past again. Rasmus Hoyland in the box. Connor Cody's there. Justin misses the tackle. Connor Cody puts him on the floor. Well done. Good tackle. Good turn by Deli Ali. And that was a dangerous tackle, but he's released Mavadidi down the wing. Mavadidi against Martinez. Cuts inside himself. Gives it back to Deli. Goes for the shot, but is tamely caught by Onana. Hoyland gets past. Oh, no. Hermans. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. How has he got the third shot away? It's frustrating because he makes a really good save there. Pokes it away, and then Faz just doesn't react. By the time he does, Hoyland's already getting the shot away. He just stood and watched the ball. Oh my god, he come flying in on Justin's ankle. Good thing he missed. Mavadidi's got it. Ahead of Dale. Cuts back. Great cut back. Gets it to Pooj on the edge. Finesses it. Gets a save out of Onana. We just need to get a chance in the box, I feel like. And Buemo's corner's going to try that. Good power on it. Deli Ali. Gets the header. That's the chance in the box you're on about. Their lead didn't last long. It's Deli Ali who sprung into a bit of form at the end of last season. Carried that into pre-season. 
and now has our first Premier League goal of this campaign. I'm happy with how he's turning his career around for us. Pooge on it. Can he get Iheanacho in? He can. Ian's ball out to Mavadidi. We seem to have caught him on a bit of a break. Mavadidi, ball across, gets the corner from Dalle. Can we do it again? Ricky Pooge to put a dangerous ball in this time. Going towards Ali's head again. Onana makes a wonder save. Pooge on it. Can he get it over? Gets a throw in off of Dalle. We're putting some very good pressure on at the end of this half. Oh, he's just been caught out in the middle of a pressure from Anthony. was good. Now Rashford is against Faz. It's a bit of a mismatch in terms of pace. Rashford's giving it to Fernandez. Plays it out wide. Pereira, can he get close to a Doji? He does well. He's done really well. Doji puts the tackle in though. Eriksen. Ricky Pooge has done brilliant that time. Can we get the break before half time? And Buemo's looking for it. No, because Van der Beek puts in a great tackle. Both teams could arguably be ahead in this one. I'm not changing anything just yet. I'm happy with how we're playing. I think we're doing well. We just need to maybe calm down a little bit. Ericsson just gets dispossessed by Ricky Pooge. He's having a great debut for us. Deli Ali's ball out to Mbwemo. Gives it to Iheanacho. Ball over. It's just not quite good enough for Deli. It's close, but no cigar. Iheanacho nearly slides it off Onana. That's a great ball up. That's a great tackle by Faz, but how have we not been rewarded for that? Anthony's on it. We're doubling up. Rashford. Need Ricky Pooge to get there. Ericsson gets a shot away. Gets another chance. Another chance. Come on, game. He's given a he's given a free kick to us. The amount of chances they keep getting is mildly frustrating. And Glazy Ass is on for Manchester United. Been a bit rash getting out, but Cody's put the block in against Inglesias. Deli Ali's just watched that. It's not really helped out the team. Borger Inglesias in the box. Cody, what a block. And gets it to Ericsson on the edge. He's got room. Hermanson, good save. Right, we're looking to break. Ian Acho, ball up. Umbuemo. Can he cap off a debut to remember? Umbuemo goes on to his right, cuts across, puts it just wide. As good as Deli Ali's been, I am going to bring Doosby Hall on him at this point in time. No more changes just yet. This is good play by Manu. Bordering Inglesias gets it. He's gone behind. It's a doji in the box. Ricardo deals with it. Doosby Hall now as we look to break again. Some Buemo. He's surely got the pace on Will Fish. Will Fish has had a great game. Oh, that's not the pass. That is clearly not the pass. Great tackle by Faz. Oh my god, how have we how have they got away with that? What a save, Hermanson. I'm getting frustrated now because man you their chances aren't well worked. So they're just getting so lucky on the rebounds. Here he comes again. Anthony gets put on the floor by Pooge. Justin's ball out. Cody. That is shocking from him. Good thing Mount's headed it a goal. Borger Inglesias gets it out wide again for Fernandez. Anthony's in the box. Oh, he's cut past. Oh, Justin's made a great block. Now we're breaking. Dewsbury Hall gives it to Mavadidi. He's surely got the pace on Martinez. Ian Acho made a great run, but he's slightly off. Now he's on. Will Fish again at the back. As much as I joked about him, has been outstanding for them today. We're cutting back. We are cutting back. But Ricky Pooge is there. Pooge puts a ball over, dangerous position, but guess who's there again? Will Fish. Dodgy gets released, but Ricardo, another great tackle. The ball wasn't it, though. We just want one chance on a break. Ian Nacho. Oh, the ball. The ball for Justin had to be perfect. We've picked it up again. Dewsbury Hall. Ian Nacho. It's not Ian Nacho, it's Mavadidi, but the ball again. Dewsbury Hall's fighting for everything in this game. Puts a ball forward for Ian Acho to chase. Wins it. Wins it. Now Mavadidi. Fuck off, Will Fish. Cody puts in a good tackle. That's going to do it for this game. It was a very, very even game. I'm very happy with how we've played and come out of a point. I'd be annoyed if it won. Because the chances they created were frustrated more than anything. Defenders played the hearts out. Attackers. We were just so nearly on so many moments. But what a start to the season. A point against Man United at home. Good going. 
That'll do us for today's episode. And as the Premier League table suggests, Arsenal, Chelsea, Man City, Spurs all start off with a win. Us and Man U end up with a draw, but it's a good draw. I will take it. I will do a few things off camera. I'll play the next two games and I'll probably join you straight after the Blackpool game so we can play Man City and do deadline day together. Then we've also got Chelsea and Forest to consider in that episode as well. So I will play them off camera. I'll update you on any transfers. If you do have any signing suggestions, let me know in the comments down below. If you have enjoyed, leave a like, comment with any feedback, subscribe to see more from us. I'll catch you next time. Bye.